Our Alpha Manager of the Day is with us, Vinay Jaising of JM Financial Services. Uh, Vinay, good to have you with us here. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Prashant, this side. You know, uh, Nimesh uh, put out this, uh, we, we conducted a, a sort of poll amongst uh, equity fund managers. Uh, and the last one was interesting. Uh, almost 80% of those polled, when asked the question, where do, you, where do they think the Nifty will be 12 months out? They said over 80% of them said above 18,000. Now, above 18 can be 18 and a half, 19 or 20. But 18% is less than 5% from where we are. Uh, I'm not sure whether to read that as bullish or, uh, you know, okay. W what's your sense, Vinay? How are, I mean, if you would ask that question, what, what would your response be? So, you know, let's look at what 18,000 means uh, in terms of P for one year forward or two, two year forward earnings. If I were to take the EPS uh, for the NSC 500 at about 830 or 40 and put a 20 time multiple, that's where we are, which is about 16,800, give or take change. If I were to move to a uh, two year forward EPS, you know, we would go to somewhere close to 900 and 900 times 20 which is more or less the five-year average, you're at 18,000. So that's the band which I think as you move towards time uh, based on where earnings come in uh, is where one has expectation. Having said that, what we are also trying to say is the Indian markets are today at 100% premium to emerging market, which has done uh, uh, pretty pathetically in the YTD or in the last 12 months. Though the Indian markets are you know, probably 1% low on a YTD basis, Emerging markets are down 25, 26%. So the premium, uh, you know, for India versus the rest of the world or rest of the emerging market has become very expensive. Hence, when life comes to normalcy, it may not be surprising to see liquidity move away from India to the rest of the world as well. Currently, the earnings look tepid. So I would tend to believe 18,000 in index 12, year, 12 months forward means we are basically in the plus 5 to minus 10 zone for the overall market. I would agree with that. Okay, all right. Hi, Vinay. Afternoon, uh, Nigel on this side. Good to speak to you as always. Uh, Vinay, upside, though, everyone's talking about. But what about downside? Do you think the markets, I mean, uh, you know, we're not cheap as, as uh, you know, everyone's aware of in comparison to our averages or even in comparison to some of our peers? What's the downside sure. risk? Worst case scenario. Yeah, so I would look at it on downside risk Can we look back at the lows which we had, you know, a couple of months ago. I think at 18 times 18, uh, 800 rupees EPS, uh, that's a possibility of touching 15,500. The biggest risk factor, you know, which I didn't hear much from you all, is the forex reserves for us. You know, today the forex reserves is sub 540 billion dollars. Uh, we're losing three to five billion dollars in a week. Uh, the currency today is at about 80, 81.6. Uh, the dollar uh, index is at about 111, 18 percent up from uh, virtually all the global indexes. So if I were to look at me being a foreign investor and saying that, you know what, uh, the Indian markets are flat on a one year basis, it's actually down nine to 10 percent for me if I was using dollar. And I think that's a big concern. Uh, come 10 to 12 weeks, come winter, and you see a little bit of crude spike up to north of 110 or 150 dollar levels, uh, and the forex reserves move down. Uh, remember, the liquidity in the banks also is in negative. Uh, we are deficit, you know, by about one trillion. So all these can lead us to touching the bottoms, uh, which we had seen some time ago. So that I think would be the uh, bare side part of the story. Mm. Okay, so the worst case scenario for the market, so the Nifty could be 15,500. Uh, Vinay, afternoon, what about the IT sector? Next week, we will have earnings from all the heavyweights, Infi, TCS, Wipro, uh, HCL Tech, mid-caps like Mindtree and Sign too will be reporting their numbers. What should we expect? So our perspective, uh, whatever you're going to see in the IT sector in the next week is a function of how well the market did or uh, the economies did uh, pre the war. So you won't see much of uh, the order book coming down. Having said that, their outlook for the following 12 months may become a little more questionable. Uh, what I mean to say by that is if you look at the two year and 10 year chart of uh, interest rates for US, we are at a negative uh, 0.4, 0.5 is, uh, uh, basis points. Uh, that in my eyes means that the GDP of US after two quarters of contraction for the next two quarters too, you could be at a flat level, which means the year 2022 may be a flat to a negative year for US GDP. And you'll start seeing the order book in the following year coming down. Hence, we would be underway the IT sector as well. I'm not even getting the cost into the picture, 
because costs in a way may be uh, bridged by the dollar going to about 82 or even much higher in the days to come. Mm. Uh, by the way, look at rate gain. Uh, I think uh, there's a huge block deal which has happened on uh, on 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 rate gain, uh, and it's uh, what's I, I'm looking at some 73 lakh shares on uh, the NSE. Uh, that's the total volume today, but uh, and I think Nimesh had pointed this out as part of the of uh, D Street chatter that there will be a block, uh, and uh, that. Uh, uh, you know, there's going to be a P, a P investor who's perhaps going to be selling. The stock is up, what, 5 or 6% uh, higher. 302, 303 uh, is where rate gain is now uh, trading at. Uh, pretty much, not at the day's highest point, but uh, pretty close to that. Uh, the other one is Gokuldas Exports. I mean, I don't know what's happening there. Uh, Gokuldas is up 9%, almost 10% now. Uh, that's, a, that's one of the largest apparel exporters out of the country, both US, Europe, etc., uh, you know, if you just go with industry-related news flow, you would imagine that they are kind of hurting because for the third straight month in September, uh, apparel exports uh, fell uh, and fell sharply. Uh, but, uh, you know, I guess this is reacting to something else. It could just be, you know, reversal after the stock had lost quite a bit. I mean, the recent high was almost 520 or so. From there, it had fallen very sharply and uh, today... Uh, it's uh, coming back up. Any thoughts on, uh, 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 you know, Gokuldas and uh, textiles as a space? I don't know if you own anything in that port in your portfolio. Uh, we don't own textiles as a space in our portfolio, but you know, I would kind of uh, link this up to you know those companies wherein you are earning currencies uh, on the dollar, uh, especially specialty chemicals or agro companies wherein what you're doing is you're manufacturing in the country. And your end product is is a high demand product in US. Uh, then what happens is because the commodity prices are down about 30 to 40 percent from peak, uh, the outlook there looks very rosy. So one of our biggest overweight positions really is in the agro specialty chemical space itself. But the argument would be the same. Okay, all right, uh, Vinaya. Uh, what about in terms of the money that you all are managing? Uh, have you all raised cash? in the last month or so? If yes, currently, what is your cash position? What was it a month or so ago? And if you'll have raised substantial cash, then where are you looking at deploying it? Sure. Thanks, Nigel. So we have raised some cash. You know, we've gone up from 10% to about uh, 13, 14% currently. Uh, we were waiting for, you know, the Fed hike uh, after which there was a, a risk of trade, but, you know, it's pretty quickly coming back. Uh, so we raised cash just before that. And uh, uh, where we sold out to was, you know, some of our positions like in the auto sector moved too high. We are still grossly overweight the auto sector. Uh, but, the, you know, some of the valuations moved up a lot. Uh, and as I said, in the IT sector, we've gone underweight. So we took cash out from that sector as well. Where are we looking at deploying it? We are looking at deploying part of it in private banks, uh, tier one. And we are looking at deploying it in uh, the specialty chemical and pharmaceutical space. Pharmaceuticals, domestic specialty chemicals, where we see a good uh, export order book coming in. Would but I again, uh, we won't be in a hurry to deploy it uh, because we think the markets in the next month or two could get us better opportunities to get it. All right, on that cautious uh, view, Vinay, thank you very much uh, for joining in. He expects better entry levels for the markets in the next one month. He likes specialty chemicals, private banks, underweight IT, and he's taken some profits off the auto names. Get into a break.